Almost halfway through the Summit League season and how much can happen in a month? How much can happen when the calendar flips to a new year? Depending on the side of the ledger you're on tonight, you're hoping for tremendously different answers to that question. The ledger reads North Dakota and St. Thomas, a pair of squads that met in the conference opener December 29th of 2023, January 27th of 2024, bringing them together again. And good evening, folks. Mike Gallagher with you. Of course, that first matchup was in Grand Forks. The one here tonight in St. Paul, the Twin Cities, the largest media market in the Summit League, narrowly edging Denver. And there is nothing narrow about the margin of defeat for the Fighting Hawks on their home court nearly one month ago today. An absolute bludgeoning, giving the Tommies the edge in the all-time series again. Now a 3-2 lead for St. Thomas in their short time as a Division I program. And just listen to all the different ways Johnny Towers' team exerted their authority on UND in that one. A game that was essentially over nine minutes in. 21 of the first 22 points scored for St. Thomas. It was 21 to one at the 11 minute mark of the first half, and it didn't get much better after that. 41 to 14 at the half before the two teams played essentially even the rest of the way, but it was far too late for North Dakota. St. Thomas just too big and too strong. Plus 19 on the glass, plus 26 in the paint in a 25 point win. Too efficient, 54% from the floor and 42% from three. 31% and 25% respectively on the other side. The Tommies more assists than North Dakota had field goals, 17 to 15. And gosh, also too opportunistic were the Tommies on top of all that. St. Thomas forced 11 turnovers, turned those into 19 points. And while they actually turned it over 14 times themselves, they limited the Fighting Hawks to one point per turnover, 14 points off. So five more points off on three less turnovers for the Tommies. Now, all that said, Perhaps the only thing you could say when sizing this one up that would indicate this may not be a walk in the park for St. Thomas is that despite how good either of these teams have been over the first two seasons, the Tommies have been a Division I program, the result in the series has been the same. A split. One win per side as we enter matchup number six tonight between the two Summit League teams that are trending upward. Six wins for North Dakota two years back, 13 last year on pace to surpass that number this season. St. Thomas, even more so of an upward trajectory. 10 wins two years back, 19 last year, and they too on pace to surpass their number this season. Only one win to hand out tonight though. The heavily favored St. Thomas Tommies and North Dakota coming up next on the Summit League Network. 3,000 student athletes from nine institutions competing in 19 sports for national prominence, striving for excellence in academics and athletics, seeking to become champions. Nearly 100,000 students and more than 800,000 alumni celebrate Summit League student athletes and their rise to reach the summit. The Summit League, where tomorrow's leaders strive to reach the summit today. After 135 years, nothing has changed, and everything has changed. Archbishop John Ireland founded a small Catholic liberal arts college where faith and reason walk together. He opened the doors to Irish immigrants seeking to liberate their minds and change their destinies. And the rest is history. Our Catholic convictions continue to guide us in everything we do. We're working to make this world a better place, and we just can't stand still. We have the vision, passion, and momentum to embrace the future. We've transformed into a comprehensive urban university with eight colleges, 10,000 students, and more than 110,000 alumni strong. We're all about change. It's in our DNA. We are going beyond Minnesota and taking our place on the national stage. We have no tolerance for intolerance. We will be the partner of choice for companies looking for major talent and for communities looking to solve major problems. So we can wake up to a better tomorrow. After 135 years, nothing has changed. And everything has changed. Mike Gallagher back in studio. Good evening, folks. UND and St. Thomas, the broadcast you found here in the Summit League Network. Enjoy it. I'll be back with you at halftime. For now, here's Corbu Status to bring you the first half. Makers, Cameron Rundle and Cannon Lowe. Director of Basketball Operations, Josh Rodenbiker. And special attention to the coach, Dennis Harrington. 
And the head coach for your Tommies in his 13th season is Johnny Tower. Johnny Tower with the record of 261 and 91 in those 13 seasons. He is 43 and 41 as a Division I head coach. Hoping to stay above 500 for his career in Division I play. He finally eclipsed that mark this season and has just been able to stay above it. Tommies will come out in their home white uniforms with a purple script Tommies across the chest and the purple numbers and the gray and purple stripes up the side. For North Dakota on the road, the Kelly Green with the white letters and numbers. Sotene Sartsidze and Parker Bjorklund will battle for the opening tap. Tommies will attack the basket away from their bench to the right. North Dakota will come back the other way, moving right to left. A three-game winning streak for North Dakota and the St. Thomas Tommies trying to make it a winning streak coming off the victory against North Dakota State. We are underway with North Dakota controlling the basketball. Kalulovic has it out front coming off a double-double where he had a career high in points and rebounds. Now it's Sartidze moving it to Omont on the right wing. He can shoot from anywhere on the floor. Omont working it near the sideline against Anthony. Dribbles back and forth, now drives baseline, kicks all the way through for Sartidze. The three from the corner, no good. Weak side rebound to Allen. Tommy's with their first offensive possession. Nobody stopped Anthony. Now they finally slow him down to Blue to the left corner for Doms. Won't fire the three. He'll reset on the half court. Blue moves it to Anthony on the right side, coming off a 15-point game against the Bison. Now Allen drives right in the lane, got to the rim, missed the layup, and the rebound pulled down by North Dakota. Looked like Allen was expecting some contact, and when it didn't come, that affected the shot. No score, one minute gone. Tommy's great, their first turnover. New Oakland comes away with the steal to Anthony into the front court. Anthony will retreat to the head of the key now. Goes to work against Sartidze, gets to the rim, pump fake, cut off there, needs some help, finds it, Bjorklund at the elbow, back to Anthony with 15 on the shot clock, a reset the half court. Anthony drifts to the left wing, now driving against Sartidze, in the paint, pump fake, pump fake, stepping through, banking, no, rebound, tipped out long, and pulled down by North Dakota. Tommies have missed two layups early, no score, minute and a half gone. Eagle Staff starts to drive on the left side. Reverses dribble, now spins in the paint. The runner up, no good. Battle for the board, won by Kendall Blue over the bigger Kaluovich. That's gonna be a tough battle. Nice job by Blue to win that one. On the baseline, the drive, the reverse from Raheem Anthony with the lay-in. Tommy's hit the layup that time. And the first pickle is out of the jar tonight. Two nothing Tommy's. Just about two minutes gone here in the first. They go back door as Kalovic airmails it to Ian Acho. It goes out of play. It'll belong to St. Thomas. Second turnover early for the Kelly Green and White. Tyrese Ian Acho from Prior Lake, Minnesota. Started his collegiate career at North Dakota. Won the Summit League Freshman of the Year, then transferred to James Madison. And came back this year to the Fighting Hawks. Blue angle right, wants three, well off the mark, rebound pulled down by Kaluovic. 2-0 Tommies. 17.40 to play in the first half. Iannaccio on the outside right, spins away from the pressure, goes to Sartzite to the left corner. This is Omont working against Anthony, driving baseline, getting underneath. He hangs in the air, missed the lip, rebound pulled down by Anthony. 2-0 Tommies. Anthony leading a three-on-two break. Blue left corner three, no. Weak side rebound pulled down by Iannaccio. It's a good look, wouldn't fall. Both teams, a uh, little bit slow start here. 0 of 2 for North Dakota. 1 of 4, 1 of 5 now for St. Thomas. Omont, left corner three. That goes in, out, back in and out, and then pulled down by Anthony. That one had two chances to go in. Nice pass ahead to Dobbs. Missed the layup. Looks like Eagle Staff might have got a hand on it. And the rebound comes to North Dakota. And the Tommies are missing layups. They've missed three layups already. 2-0, they have the lead, 16.45 to play in the first. Iannaccio loses his footing, comes down with the ball, gets rid of it to Omont near the head of the key. 12 to shoot, Eagle Staff takes over on the right side. Pulls up for three from the wing, that's well off the mark. Rebound, Kaluovic in the paint, scoops it back up and in. Neither team shooting the ball particularly well early. 2-2, 16.22 to play in the first. Well, the score would certainly reflect that, wouldn't it? 
Anthony drifting to the left for the elbow. Goes out front for Bjorklund. Move it to the right corner for Dobbs. Nothing going, so Dobbs moves it back to Bjorklund. He drives to Anthony on the left wing. Ten to shoot. Anthony directs traffic. Long pass. Dobbs, right wing three. Side iron, no good. Rebound, Eagle step. 2-2. Two, two. Four minutes gone in the first. Oman on the left wing goes to Kalubic. Tried to go back door for a cutting start. Seeds A, and it's thrown out of play, and it'll belong to St. Thomas. Sure looked like Brooks Allen got a hand on it, but the official who was right there said, nope, it'll be Tommy basketball when we come back. Tied at two with 15.50 to play in the first. This is Tommy basketball. You own the groove. But have you ever thought who owns your money? At Wings Credit Union, you own it. Unlike banks where you're a customer, here you're an owner. So profits help you and the community around you. That means things like high yield checking accounts, savings accounts, and certificates. It's time to own your money. Not an empty seat inside Jenniker. The atmosphere was unbelievable. Our crowds were crazy. A great start for St. Thomas, and the crowd loves it. It was a true home court advantage. Quick release on the three. An environment like no other, that's the power of purple. Experience it all season long. Visit TommySports.com. Tied at two with 15.50 to play in the first half. Welcome back to Shinnecke Arena in St. Paul. Two teams that are going to be right around 75 points if their season averages hold up. The Tommy defense has been outstanding, the best in the Summit League, giving up just 63.2 points per game, while the Fighting Hawks are allowing almost 10 points more a game, nine and a half to be exact, at 72.7. Get your inside look at the personalities that wear the purple and gray with the Tommy Talks podcast. New episodes are released each Tuesday. Available wherever you get your podcast. First substitutions of the ball game for both teams. Tommies will have Allen, Dobbs, Ben Now, a Johnny Lee, and Anthony on the floor. It'll be Omat, Luovich, Iannaccio, Brady Danielson, and Eli King on the floor for North Dakota. Tommy's have the basketball in the front court with 20 on the shot clock. It's Anthony at the head of the key. So now on the right wing, circles into the paint. Nobody stopped him, missed the layup in the rebound. Pulled down by Iannaccio to Oman on the left side. Spins in the paint, got to the rim, had it stripped by Allen, saved by Anthony, bounces it to Allen. Here come the Tommies on the break. Allen ahead to Lee, he has to track it down. Anthony takes it left wing underneath the Allen, stripped away by King, and to the hands of Danielson. Both teams playing some defense here. 15 13 to play in the first. Ianacho driving right in the lane. Hand checked by now on the drive. Ben now picks up his first, team's first. Tonight's officials Tucson Grigg, John Yorkovic, and James Duran. Ianacho to inbound from the right baseline to Omot in the right corner. Ianacho takes it back on the outside right. Ianacho able to play this year because the judge ruled that two-time transfers are immediately eligible. King at the head of the key, a transfer from Iowa State, misses the three, and the rebound pulled down by Dobbs. Tied at two, over five minutes gone here in the first half. The offense has really taken a while to warm up. Johnny Lee creeping his way into the paint, burrowing in, burrowing in, gets to the rim and lays it home. Mr. Omont just never slowed him down. 4-2, Tommy's with the lead. 14-33 to play in this first half. Omont coming off of three consecutive 20-point games. He had 30 in one of those three straights. Inacho cut off left baseline, goes out front King. He drives, steps through to the rim, and he gets the lay in the fall. Ties it up at four apiece, 14-14 to play in the first half. Anthony walks it over to the left side for Lee. Holding the basketball, looking for somebody to pop open. Ben now does at the head of the key. 
to Dobbs on the right way. Looking for Carter Bjorke and said uses him as a screen. Cut off at the baseline by Danielson. Retreats to the right wing with six to shoot. Bjorke takes it right in the lane. He's got four to shoot. Burrows in, spins, fires, short, rebound, tipped out, and picked up by Iannaccio. Two on three break to Omont, and Omont is able to dunk it down with two hands. Omont had a step on the Tommies in the first lead of the ball game for the Fighting Hawks. 6-4, and a half to play in the first. Anthony takes it at the head of the key. Tommy so far, two of nine from the floor. Lee takes it in the right corner. Goes to work against Kalujovic. Tried to go behind the back, lost the basketball battle for it. And Eli King comes up with it. Now the Tommy's trying to do maybe too much. 6-4, they trail. Danielson driving right baseline. Dumps it underneath for Kalujovic. Lost the basketball, picks it up right of the lane. Working against Bjorki. Spinning baseline. Jump hook is up, no good. Rebound pulled down by Ben now. He leads the charge into front court. Eli King sniffed it out, makes the steal, and dunks it down. Eli King now with two steals in this game, has 28 on the year. Coming into tonight, he was fifth in the Summit League with steals. Tommy's trail, 8-4, to 12.40 to play in this first half. Anthony with the dribble back and forth on the left wing. Drives, cut off by the double team. Danielson pokes it away. Anthony retrieves it on the left wing, 10 to shoot. Goes to work again. Lost the basketball again. Gets it back. Pump fake. Pump fake. Puts it up. Scores! And he's fouled. 11. A lot of one-on-one -on -one basketball right now for the Tommies, but that time it worked. Anthony pulled out every move and has a chance to go to the line. Brady Danielson picks up his first, team's first. Anthony is 70% free throw shooter on the year. Trying to complete the three-point play and get the Tommies to within one. And he does. Anthony will get his first rest. Ryan Dufault has checked in. Bjorki, Blue, Lee, and Ben now on the floor playing defense for the Tommies. It is King, Sartidze, Eagle, Staff, Danielson, and Omot for the Fighting Hawks. King runs the point, the Caledonia, Minnesota native. Started his career at Iowa State before transferring to the Fighting Hawks. Omot starts to drive into the paint, hangs in the air, banks it up and in. Boy, Bjorki had a chance to draw a charge, but he kind of bailed at the last second. Tommy's trail 10-7. 12 minutes to play in this first half. Lee has it right wing, gives it to Blue. Circles to the baseline, nothing there. Lee takes it to the head of the key. Goes to DuPont on the left wing. 12 to shoot. DuPont driving, getting to the rim, scooping and scoring with the left hand. 10-9, Tommy's trail by one. 11.40 to play in this sec first half, excuse me. North Dakota with that three-game winning streak, trying to get that traction, keep that traction going as Omont knocks it down from the left wing. Omont's a 27% three-point shooter. But you can't leave him open. He's got seven to lead all scores. Tommy's trail by four. Dufault started to drive right in the lane. Walked with the basketball as he got cut off. Tommy's turned it over. And it'll be North Dakota basketball when we come back. 13-9. The Fighting Hawks have the lead with 11-17 to play in the first half. This is Tommy Basketball. Cryptocurrency, espionage, cybersecurity? As a political science major at St. Thomas, I never dreamed I'd be entangled in so much intrigue. But thanks to my professor's mentoring, I got a Fulbright scholarship that took me to Tel Aviv and then Washington, D.C. Now I've set my sights on becoming U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. I'm Valerie and I'm a Tommy. The best healthcare is there in ways big and small. There when we most and least expect it. We may not see it, but we feel it. It lets us know we're not in this alone. Everyone deserves a healthcare partner who never quits. One who's there for what matters. United Healthcare, there for what matters.
Tommy's trailing 13 to 9 with 11-17 to play in the first half. Tommy's coming off a win against North Dakota State where Parker Bjorklund went for a career high 32 points. Tommy shot over 50% as a team for the first time in 2024. That has not been the case so far tonight. Tommy's just four of 12 to start this ball game. North Dakota, six of 14. Parker Bjorklund has yet to score. Twin Cities Orthopedics is proud to be the official sports medicine provider for Tommy Athletics. TCO is trusted by some of the biggest names in sports, and they bring that same level of care to our athletes. Thank you, TCO, for being a part of our team. Visit TCOMN.com to learn more. Start seeds A, King, Eagle Staff, Danielson, and Oman on the floor offensively for the Fighting Hawks as King brings it into the front court. Tommy's playing defense with Blue, Allen, Bjorkland, Ben Now, and Dufault. King has it on the left wing. One dribble, picks it up, goes to Danielson on the right side, to the free throw line, into the paint, back door for Omot, loses it out of play. And the Tommies will take it on the turnover. Fourth turnover of the night on North Dakota. Tommies have turned it over four times already themselves. Coming off a game where they only turned it over seven times. Nobody stopped to fault and to get all the way to the rim to lay it up and in. 13-11, Tommy's trail. 10-35 to this first half. Paul Sather in his fifth year as the Fighting Hawks head coach. That 11-10 mark, they are trying to get that trend going up. The Eagles have had it stripped at the head of the key, but gets it back, goes to work against Allen. Now steps back, takes it to King, left wing, and got Ben Now in the air, and then started a drive, went right into Ben Now, and that's the second against Now. He'll have to take a seat with 10-19 to play. He's been whistled for both St. Thomas fouls. There's only been three fouls in this game. He'll be replaced by Raheem Anthony. King has 20 to shoot, inbounds it from the left sideline. Goes to Iannaccio near half court. Dupont was sniffing around for the steal, but Iannaccio shakes him at the head of the key. Now gathers it to the left wing, to the corner for King. His three is up and good. A lot of space for those three-point shooters so far in the Tommy's trail, 16 to 11. This is a North Dakota team that's feeling a lot more confident than they were against the Tommy's last time out. Bjorklund feeling it from the right wing, missed the three, it rattled in and out, rebound pulled down by the Fighting Hawks. Up by five, King attacking, cut off in the paint. Kicks it off to Kaluovic and they move it out front for Iannaccio. He drives right to King, left wing, all by himself for three, no good. Sartite gets a weak side rebound, rips it away from two Tommies, and finally a foul called. And Dufault picks up his first, team's third. Dufault will take a seat, Dom's back in. Tommy's have their starting five on the floor. Trailing 16 to 11. Sartidze, right corner three try, no good. Weak side rebound to Blue. Turns it up the floor. Gets it into the front court. Drives right in the lane to the rim. Missed the layup, but it'll head to the line. On the move, the Tommies have been able to get to the rim. They've just missed a couple of those opportunities for Lance. Jason Eaglestaff picks up his first team second. Blue at the line to shoot two. At 68.9% this year from the free throw line, hits his first. Second one on the way, it's also good. First two points of the ball game for Blue. 16-13, Tommy's trailing. Hoping their defense holds up while their offense waits to heat up. Iannaccio goes to Eagle Staff. They move it to Sartidze between the circles to Iannaccio on the left wing. He drives. Kicks it left corner for Eagle Staff. His three is no good. Weak side rebound pulled down by Dobbs. Tommies don't want to live dangerously like that with Eagle Staff getting those open looks. What a drive by Anthony getting bodied the whole way down the paint. And he lays it up and in. Seven for Anthony. Showing off his strength. 16-15. Tommy's trail. Under eight and a half, or under 8.50 to play in this first half. Kalubic missed the layup on the reverse. Rebound pulled down by Anthony. Outlet to Dobbs. Starts a drive, kicks it back to Allen. He drives, bumps, no whistle, bounces it to Blue. Throws it down with the right hand. 
Malice in the heart. Tommy's retake the lead, 17-16. 8.22 to play in this first half. Iannaccio has it on the left wing. Iannaccio working the dribble against Dobbs, hesitates, drives, bump, throws it up, no good, but he will go to the line. Dobbs picks up his first, team's fourth. Iannaccio will go to the line. A little 6 nothing run here by the Tommies. It's still alive as Iannaccio misses that free throw. If he misses this one, we're talking burritos, baby. King will take a seat. As Omar checks back in. Allen and Blue will take a seat. Bjerke and Ben now back in. Iannaccio, a couple of dribbles, and the free throw is good. No burritos this time. Ties it at 17. 8-10 to play in the first half. Anthony brings the dribble to the right side for Dobbs. Bjorky takes it at the head of the key. Hands off Dobbs on the right side. Versus dribble. Gets underneath. Goes back out front. Bjorky quick release on the three. In and out. Rebound. Kept alive by Bjorklund. And into the hands of Anthony. New life for the Tommies with the score knotted at 17. Anthony step back left wing. Three. You bet. Double figures for Raheem Anthony. Leads all scores, and the Tommies have a three-point lead. On a 9-1 run right now with 7.35 to play in the first. Sartide, low block right, burls in against Bjorkland, spins to the left and scores with the left. Point to the ball game for Sotne Sartide. Tommies lead cut to one, 7.18 to play in this first half. Bjorkland on the right side, out front for Anthony. Back to Bjorki, angle right. He's open for three. Back iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by Eagle Step. Chance for him to run. Bounces ahead to Omot. Trouble with the dribble, so he has to slow it down. That allows the Tommies to catch up and set up the defense, leading by one with under seven to play in the first. Omot drifting to the right side against Bjorki. Looking to go one on one. Starts to drive right baseline. Steps through and a whistle. Foul going against Ben now. They're going to call now with the block. That'll be his third personal foul. And it'll be North Dakota basketball when we come back. 6.49 to play in the first. St. Thomas 20, North Dakota 19. This is Tommy Basketball. I usually get the hand-tossed pepperoni. I love the red sauce, like the, the, the dipping sauce. It's my favorite. We get the hoagies if we're going on a picnic or something. That's what we're doing for dinner tonight. We're getting Devani's. Twin Cities Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. You own the groove. But have you ever thought, who owns your money? At Wings Credit Union, you own it. Unlike banks where you're a customer, here you're an owner. So profits help you and the community around you. That means things like high-yield checking accounts, savings accounts, and certificates. It's time to own your money. Raheem Anthony's 10 points leading the way for the Tommies as they lead 20 to 19 with 6.49 to play in the first half. He has four or five from the floor. He also has five rebounds. Women's hockey returns home February 9th. The battle in-state rival Minnesota Duluth at St. Thomas Ice Arena. Get your tickets at TommySports.com. Joel Johnson's team coming off a split at Bemidji State. Tommy's won in a shootout last night and then fell 4-2 today. Tommy's will have a Johnny Lee, Kendall Blue, Raheem Anthony, Drake Dobbs, and Carter Bjerke on the floor. North Dakota has Eagle Staff, Sartsidze, Omont, Kalulovic, and Iannaccio, and 20 seconds to shoot. Iannaccio inbounds from the right baseline. 
Omont takes it near the right sideline. Boy, Anthony was sniffing for the interception. Just couldn't quite come up with it. Ianacho has it between the circles. The Eagles half right wing. Guarded by Blue. Skips it all the way to Ianacho left wing. Working on that side. Goes out front for Eagle Staff. Step back three. Try against Blue. And he hits. Jason Eagle Staff made some room with the footwork. And Eagle Staff has yet another three. That is 18 straight games for him with the three-pointer. He leads the Summit League in three-pointers made. Although he had just three points against the Tommies in their first matchup. 20 to 19, or 22 20, North Dakota with the lead. And Blue driving lost the basketball, but it was tipped by North Dakota, so it'll stay with St. Thomas. Sartsidze is going to come out. Brady Danielson in. And the official is going to chat this over on whether or not the, uh, the shot clock should be reset or whose basketball it is. Looks like it's going to stay with St. Thomas. Bjerke will take his seat. Allen checks in. Tommy's will have 14 to shoot. Dodge from the left baseline. Standing on the O in Tommy's. Gets it to Anthony in the left corner. Guarded by Oma. Goes to the head of the key for Blue. Eight on the shot clock. Blue approaches the head of the key, kicks it to Allen, right wing, four to shoot. Allen, free throw line, fade away, got it. First point of the game for Brooks Allen. Ties it at 22 apiece with 5.52 to play in the first half. Ianacho on the outside left, brings it all the way to the right side. Still nothing there, 15 on the shot clock. Driving with the left-handed dribble in the paint. He got it to go over Drake Dobbs. Oh, and just crawled over the front of the rim. Lead back to North Dakota by two. Five and a half to play in the first. Lee at the elbow, hands off Dobbs at the head of the key underneath the arc, driving right in the lane. Got all the way underneath, nothing there. Tried to find a cutting Lee. He does miss the layup. One of the foul, didn't get it. Rebound pulled down by Ianacho. One on one against Dobbs. Stripped by Allen going out of play. And it'll stay with North Dakota. Good hands there by Brooks Allen to get in on the driving Ianacho. Eagle Staff takes a seat. Eli King comes back in. And Kalovic will take a rest. Sartsidze comes in. Amar Kalovic, the man with many different pronunciations of his last name. Inbounds comes to Sartsidze, left of the lane. Working, working against Bjorkman, takes it into the paint. Shuffled with the pivot foot, no whistle. Turns around and gets the jump hook to go. Got away with one there. Tommy's back down by four with 5-10 to play in the first. Bjorklund driving left in the lane, bodied on the drive, and he is fouled right as he got rid of the basketball. Foul goes against Eli King, his first. That's the third team. Tommy's will get a fresh 20 to shoot. The referee standing over at the scores table, and they're going to put it at 20. There it is. All right, Blue will inbound it from the left baseline, choosing between Dufault, Allen, Bjorkland, and Anthony. It's Bjorkland who gets it on the left way. Takes it to the head of the key, starts a drive, cut off near the baseline. Now takes it to the post or to the elbow and goes to Anthony at the head of the key. He's got nine to shoot. Right handed dribble drive, goes behind the back. Cut off there, six to shoot to the left corner for Allen. Allen with four, Allen with three. Step back, pump fake, fires the three. Front rim, no good. Rebound King for North Dakota. 26-22. Fighting Hawks with the lead. 4.42 to play in this first half. Tommy's had a nice little spurt to get back in the ball game, but they haven't been able to get a consistent offense going here. Ian Acho goes to start CJ left wing. Quick release on the three. No good. Long rebound tipped out by Blue, but it goes right to Oman. Blue did all he could to try and get it to a teammate, but there was nothing but green back there. 12 to shoot for Oman on the left sideline. Turns the corner, gets underneath, hangs in the air, and an athletic reverse lay up there by B.J. Oman. Tommy's down by six, their big deficit. Anthony drives across the corner of the paint, 
Has it left of the lane, working against Omont. Spins underneath, goes to the left or right corner for Blue, to the right wing for Bjorklund. Over to Dupont, he starts to drive, kicks it to Allen, and goes to Bjorklund at the head of the key. Nine to shoot, Bjorklund step back three try, missed it badly, and the rebound comes to King. It looked like Sartidze might have gotten him on the arm. Instead, King drives left in the lane, spins to the right, lost the basketball, picks it up, and retreats to the head of the key to Danielson in the right corner. 28-22, North Dakota, three and a half to play in the first. Ianacho with the drive, had it poked away from behind, and Ryan Dufault is called for the foul. That'll be his second, and it'll take us to a timeout on the floor with 3.27 to play in the first half, and the Tommy's trailing 28-22. This is Tommy Basketball. At Supply Chain Solutions, our employees are our true value. In the heart of the ever-changing supply chain industry, we know it's our team that propels us forward. As a proud partner of Tommy Athletics, we're excited to welcome St. Thomas students into our family. At Supply Chain Solutions, we're more than colleagues. Working together and celebrating together is our recipe for excellence. Join our team and discover a rewarding journey together. The best healthcare is there in ways big and small. There when we most and least expect it. We may not see it, but we feel it. It lets us know we're not in this alone. Everyone deserves a healthcare partner who never quits. One who's there for what matters. United Healthcare, there for what matters. Tommy's trailing 28-22, 3.27 to play in the first half. Download the Tommy Sports app for all the latest scores, news, and updates when it comes to your favorite Tommy Sports teams. Available at the App Store. Well, the Tommy's hounded North Dakota to open up conference play, 70-45. to And North Dakota would start off 0-3 in conference play. But they have found their heat. They defeated... Kansas City on the road, a game in which Omont went off for 30 points. Then got home wins against Oral Roberts and Denver. And that is even the record at three and three. Now they're looking for their first win in St. Paul since the Tommies have gone Division I. North Dakota has 20 to shoot. Ianacho will inbound from the left baseline. Taking a look, 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 nothing there, and he'll have to call a timeout. Tommy's with good defense out of the timeout. 30-second timeout. We will keep it here. And remind you that the Tommy's will return home February 8th to battle Oral Roberts. That game is presented by Wings Credit Union. It will feature a souvenir cup giveaway. Get your tickets at Tommysports.com. Stop me if you've heard this one. The Tommy's. Trying to hold on defensively while their offense heats up. There's this story in the first half against North Dakota State tonight. Tommy's 9 of 23 from the floor. North Dakota 12 of 25. They get it in to Omont to the left corner. Danielson's open for three and he hits. Boy, they are killing the Tommies in that left, in that left corner. And St. Thomas trails by nine. 31-22 with 3-10 to play in the first half. Riding Hawks on a nice run here. Dobbs has it on the right wing. 15 to shoot. They get it to Anthony near the right corner. Working against Oman. Trying to get it into the paint. Now banging. Drop set. Beautiful pump fake. Thinks it up and scores. A dozen for Raheem Anthony. He's got half of the Tommy points. And that snaps a long North Dakota run. 31-24. Tommy's trailing. 238 to play in the first half. Omont on the right way. Allen picks him up defensively. Omont got poked in the face by Allen. No whistle. Omont crosses over, fires the three. Well off the mark, rebound, tipped out by Lee. And Anthony gets undercut by Danielson, and Danielson commits the foul. Danielson plays as hard as anybody. That's his second personal foul. But 
that's not the first time in a game against the Tommies where Danielson diving for a ball has taken out a Tommy's legs, and that can just be really dangerous. I am not saying that Brady Danielson plays dirty. Not by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just saying that's a couple of times that it has happened. Everybody's okay, though. 31-24, Anthony driving left in the lane, getting to the rim, missed it, and Omont came away with the block and the rebound. Omont into the front court, tipped away by Anthony, and goes out of play as Allen couldn't quite catch up with the loose basketball. Eagle staff checks in for Eli King. 31-24, North Dakota, 2.04 to play in this first half. Bjorkland checks in for Anthony. It's Bjorkland, Allen, Dobbs, Lee, and Blue defensively. Ianacho, Sartsidze, Omot, Kaluovic, and Eaglestaff offensively. Kaluovic gets to the rim and lays it up and in. Four points for Kaluovic. 33-24, Tommy's back down by nine at home with 147 to play in the first and an offensive foul going against Parker Bjorklund on the moving screen. His first team's fifth. I'm way behind. That's actually the team seven. Tommy's need a stop here. Ianacho standing at the shield with 140 to play in the first half, leading 33-24. Move it to Omont near the left sideline. Goes to the head of the key for Kaluovic. Hands off Omont left wing. Picked up by Lee. Omont driving right in the lane, stepping through, banking, no good. Rebound Kaluovic, and he lays it up and in. Just Jed Brooks Allen, and Kaluovic has got six, and the Tommies trail by 11. With 1.15 to play in the first half. Allen picked up the dribble. He's in trouble, needs some help, finds it in blue at the head of the key. He attacks left in the lane, cut off there. Keeps the dribble alive, puts it up, scores, and he's fouled. How about the strength by the sophomore to fight through the hack there by Eagle Step? Well, it was a five-point spurt by Parker Bjorklund at the end of the first half against North Dakota State. They cut it to six going into the locker room and gave the Tommies a little bit of life. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. It's now down to nine. And Blue completes the three-point play. He's got seven. It's a 15 foul, second against Eagle Staff. 63 seconds to play in the first. Tommies need to stop. This year, when North Dakota's had a double-digit lead, they are eight and three. 35-27, they lead now. 53 seconds to play in the first. Ianacho with 17 on the shot clock, still near half court. Now between the circles, right-handed dribble to the head of the key. Chris back to the head of the shield. Nine to shoot. Goes to King left wing. He drives baseline, gets underneath. Nothing going there. Four to shoot. To Sartsidze, left wing jumper from 15, no good. Weak side rebound pulled down by Anthony. No two for one here for the Tommies. It'll be tough, but Anthony driving hard down the middle of the paint. He draws the foul. It is on the ground. It'll be just the sixth team foul against North Dakota, so no free throws. But B.J. Oma picks up his first. Four-second differential game in shot clock. They mount it to blue left corner. He takes it to the wing. Now he goes to work, steps back for a three, goes in and out, rebound, King and Lee tied up, no whistle as Lee goes hard to the ground. North Dakota can take the final shot, they lead by eight. 10 seconds to play in the first. Ianacho with the dribble at the base of the shield. Now with six, with five, Ianacho drifts to the left with three, step back, deep three on the way, banks it in and he is fouled. And he is down on the ground, clutching that left ankle. Ian Ocho banking in a three with 1.2 seconds left. And he has a chance at a four-point play to give North Dakota a 12-point lead going to the locker room. The Tommies knew they weren't going to get the same team 
that they saw in Grand Forks. The Tommies just have not been able to answer anything offensively. Inacho misses the free throw and rebound pulled down by Bjorklund. Won't get a chance for a shot. And the Tommies go into the locker room trailing 38 to 27 to North Dakota. We're going to hear from associate head coach Mike Maker and uh, Makes not the first half that you wanted, uh, but uh, what can you do to get things going in the second half? Well, listen, we, uh, you know, same movie, right? We were just here the other night where we had a slow start at halftime and we regrouped. But give North Dakota a lot of credit. I thought they were the aggressor both defensively and offensively. We have not found our rhythm on the offensive end. Uh, we need to do that, and then we need to keep the ball in front and clean up the glass defensively. Yeah, Coach Tower talked about composure. That would come in handy in a moment like this, I would imagine. Yeah, you know, I think, uh, listen, we handled them at their place. Uh, it's human nature, right? They came out, and uh, they did what they had to do the first half. There's 20 minutes left. We'll regroup at halftime and hopefully play Tommy basketball. The first four minutes will be key. Makes appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks. Roll Tom's. That's associate head coach Mike Maker. His interview is brought to you by United Healthcare. 38-27 at the half, North Dakota with the lead. The Wings Credit Union halftime show is next. This is Tommy Basketball. It's a program on the rise, and you can be front and center for Tommy women's basketball all year long. A six-win improvement, five wins in their final seven. A bright future ahead as the Tommies bring the power of purple to their third year of Division I play. Seneca Arena is the site. Come see Ruth Sin and the Tommies fight for the summit. Visit TommySports.com today. City's Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. You own the groove. But have you ever thought, who owns your money? At Wings Credit Union, you own it. Unlike banks where you're a customer, here you're an owner. So profits help you and the community around you. That means things like high-yield checking accounts, savings accounts, and certificates. It's time to own your money. Three thousand student athletes from nine institutions competing in 19 sports for national prominence, striving for excellence in academics and athletics, seeking to become champions. Nearly 100,000 students and more than 800,000 alumni celebrate Summit League student athletes and their rise to reach the summit. The Summit League, where tomorrow's leaders strive to reach the summit today. There's an awesome power out there, and it's limitless. At the St. Thomas School of Engineering, we're using that power in one of the only student-driven microgrid research facilities in the nation. We work on real-world projects to shape the evolution of energy in the face of climate change. This power doesn't come from the sun. It comes from students like us. I'm Ian. I'm Mansu. I'm Harissa. And, and we're, we're Tommy. Tommy. on sale now. Visit TommySports.com. At Supply Chain Solutions, our employees are our true value. 
In the heart of the ever-changing supply chain industry, we know it's our team that propels us forward. As a proud partner of Tommy Athletics, we're excited to welcome St. Thomas students into our family. At Supply Chain Solutions, we're more than colleagues. Working together and celebrating together is our recipe for excellence. Join our team and discover a rewarding journey together. The best healthcare is there in ways big and small. There when we most and least expect it. We may not see it, but we feel it. It lets us know we're not in this alone. Everyone deserves a healthcare partner who never quits. One who's there for what matters. United Healthcare, there for what matters. A force was created more than 100 years ago. When Archbishop John Ireland stepped in and started a university for immigrants. Entrance exams and letters of rec were not required, but an open mind and open heart were mandatory. No matter their race, religion, or social status, we opened our doors to everyone, seeking to liberate their minds and change their destinies. And today we are a powerful force to be reckoned with. We are more than 110,000 Tommy Strong. Our strength comes from being united by our convictions. The pursuit of truth is our guiding light. We are not looking for easy answers, but we are asking tough questions. We need leaders who think critically, act wisely, and work skillfully, all for the common good. The force that was created more than 100 years ago has gained strength and speed, and it's showing no sign of slowing down anytime soon. Halfway through in St. Paul, welcome back to the studio, folks. Mike Gallagher with you with St. Thomas and North Dakota Duel. Tommy, since their Division I transition, both in men's basketball and elsewhere, have done so many things that I'm quite sure those in locker rooms, offices, meetings, everywhere across campus thought were possible. And I'm not sure folks in those same positions envisioned everything that has gone on happening so quickly. A football conference championship, men's hockey being the most improved team in the country from year one to year two of the D1 transition, and this year spending tons of time in first place in the CCHA, looking capable of winning the league. Both basketballs nearly doubling their win totals last year and both in the heat of conference championship races this season, halfway through the league year. The name programs are those, the ones that the lion's share of schools across the country hope they can get to a spot in which they excel, all doing so for St. Thomas in just their third year at the Division I level. All those programs, with an emphasis on the basketballs and football, were highly successful in their time at the Division III level. So it's nothing new, different level, but same results for the legacy that has been created by these Tommy teams. And there's another that can say the same here at St. Thomas. And I could give you probably 20 guesses, and you wouldn't get it because they're not an official varsity sport, not one sponsored by the NCAA, so it's not possible to be. But if you're looking at championships on a national level, there's no comparing what any program has done at St. Thomas or at 99% of other schools in the country across all sports. The University of St. Thomas dance team. And you'd need just about all your fingers and toes to count the national crowns this team has taken back to St. Paul. How about 18 of them? The most recent entering 2024 coming in? Well, you may be able to guess this considering how highly successful they've been. 2023. Some photos you're seeing here from that championship team. There's two events, hip hop and jazz. Jazz, the routine that the Tommies took gold for in 2023. Also finishing sixth in hip hop. The team coached by Julia Harris said of that team, did coach Harris and its accomplishments, quote, the number one goal we have is representing our university, our alumni dancers, and the rich history and proud tradition of the St. Thomas dance team. In a program with 17 previous national titles, the bar is set really high for us. And I'm so proud of all the work and effort this year's team put in to accomplish this historic milestone. So the success last year meant the bar for Harris and her team raised even more going into 2024 UDA Nationals. The second weekend of January, here's a behind the scenes look at the preparations for Harris and the Tommies before going to Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. Today we're still going to do practice just as always, but we have three more days to kind of maximize on these routines. But this is the time that you dance, like throughout the weekend as well as what time you dance at nationals, okay? So kind of get your body in that mindset. So push yourself right now. Make sure you're ready to start dancing full out right away, okay? Let's go. Let's go, 
Um, push yourself. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One more time, same thing. Let's go, guys. Fight for it. I need a little bit more right now. Let's go, top shot. Again, ready? Choose right now to fight through it. Performance on this part, it matters, okay? You need every inch of it. They were looking for national championship number 19 back to back to add to an already ample collection amassed by the legendary program. Unfortunately, this year not their year, but an impressive pair of performances in both categories actually led the Tommies to two top five finishes, both categories, hip hop and jazz after being outside the top five in hip hop last season. So a very well-rounded weekend that Harris and her young ladies certainly could be proud of as they flew back to St. Paul a couple of weeks ago. The spirit of St. Thomas once again, making the Tommies shimmer at the wildly popular annual event. That's the story of St. Thomas Dance. They're in a different realm than the NCAA sports that St. Thomas sponsors, but success, it knows no bounds in St. Paul. It's been that good of a first three years at D1 for the first school to ever jump from Division Three to Division One. Back to another program that's familiar with national championships, Johnny Tower and Company with two in the last 12 years. They're taking on North Dakota in second half action. That's after these messages on the Summit League Network. I believe one really can change the world by helping business be more transparent, inclusive, sustainable, and globally minded. It's why I became a GHR Fellow, a unique full tuition scholarship at St. Thomas with an immersive four-year undergrad experience designed to develop principled business leaders for the common good. I'm Himani. We're GHR Fellows and we're, we're Tommies. The highlights at new levels. The first Division I ranked win in program history. St. Thomas wins in the shootout. The longest unbeaten streak of the Division I era. An unprecedented win streak. Legendary battles against the best conference in hockey. How did they score? Year two was a whirlwind. Year three, the Tommies take flight. See Joel Johnson and Tommy women's hockey all year long. Visit TommySports.com today. The best health care is there in ways big and small. There when we most and least expect it. We may not see it, but we feel it. It lets us know we're not in this alone. Everyone deserves a health care partner who never quits. One who's there for what matters. United Healthcare, there for what matters. I usually get the hand-tossed pepperoni. I love the red sauce, like the, the, the dipping sauce. It's my favorite. We get the hoagies if we're going on a picnic or something. That's what we're doing for dinner tonight. We're getting Devani's. Twin Cities Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. Not an empty seat inside Jenniker. The atmosphere was unbelievable. Our crowds were crazy. A great start for St. Thomas, and the crowd loves it. It was a true home court advantage. Quick release on the three. An environment like no other, that's the power of purple. Experience it all season long. Visit TommySports.com. At Supply Chain Solutions, our employees are our true value. In the heart of the ever-changing supply chain industry, we know it's our team that propels us forward. As a proud partner of Tommy Athletics, we're excited to welcome St. Thomas students into our family. At Supply Chain Solutions, we're more than colleagues. Working together and celebrating together is our recipe for excellence. Join our team and discover a rewarding journey together. 3,000 student athletes from nine institutions competing in 19 sports for national prominence, striving for excellence in academics and athletics, seeking to become champions. 
Nearly 100,000 students and more than 800,000 alumni celebrate Summit League student athletes and their rise to reach the summit. The Summit League, where tomorrow's leaders strive to reach the summit today. Mike Gallagher back with you, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get back to basketball. We've got the final 20 minutes of regulation. Core Blue Status is courtside to bring it to you on the Summit League Network. Tommy's trailing 38 to 27 as we get ready for the second half. Don't forget to get your single game tickets. They're available on tommysports.com slash tickets. North Dakota shooting 50% in that first half. St. Thomas just over 40%, 10% from behind the arc. And they're going to have to get something going here in this second half to overcome this deficit. North Dakota looking to avenge a big Tommy victory in Grand Forks. And the Tommies will open up the second half with the basketball. It's Doms with the dribble right in the lane, gets underneath. Kalovich cuts him off. Doms retreats. Picked up the dribble and finds Anthony on the right side. Anthony with the dribble between the circles. Bounces it to Bjorklund right wing to Anthony on the way. Ten to shoot. Anthony takes it to the post. Now steps back. He's got eight to shoot. Step back. Fakes a three to Allen. Left wing. Deep three on the way. Good. And a foul underneath. Going against B.J. Oman. Count the bucket and the Tommies will have possession. How's that to start off the second half? Brooks Allen hit that three from right where Tyree Iannaccio hit his three to end the first half. And now the Tommies have the chance to open up the second half on a five point, maybe even a six point swing. They inbounded to Allen, point blank range, missed the layup, and the rebound pulled down by North Dakota. 38 30. Tommy's trailing 19 20 to play in this first half where that would have been a great start if they would have been able to convert there Eagle staff goes out front for Sartsidze bounce it left of the lane for Kulovic going against Allen goes ahead to the keeper Ian Acho drives jump stop in the lane lays it up no good rebound tipped and controlled by Dobbs weaving through traffic outlet ahead to blue blue driving to the basket banks it up no good had an open Bjorklund underneath but I don't think could get it to him with the way North Dakota was playing D. Ianacho tried to go between the legs for Omot. Bad pass. Omot tracks it down and gets it to Ianacho. Boy, that one really could have cost North Dakota. Instead, it's Eagles staff on the left wing, leading by eight. Tommies have had a couple of opportunities early in the second half that they've missed on. And Omot misses a right wing three. Tommies get the rebound. Down by eight. Dobbs into the front court. Minute and a half gone in the second. Allen takes it between the circles, drifting to the right, backing down Eagle Staff, goes to Anthony at the head of the key. Goes to Bjorklund at the free throw line, bodied by Sartidze to Anthony, circling into the paint, bodied there by Eagle Staff, late whistle and a foul. Will it be on the floor or will it be a shot? It will be on the floor. That's the right call. Eagle Staff's third, team's second. Tommy's got to take advantage of these opportunities here. Down by eight. Skip it to Blue at the head of the key. To Bjorklund on the right wing. Back to Blue in the corner. Brings the dribble to the elbow. To Bjorklund right of lane. Banging against King. Spins to the baseline. Banks it up. Missed the layup and the rebound. Pulled down by Omot. Tommy's missed two layups to start the first half. And they've missed two layups to start the second half. Maybe even three. Down by eight, 17.53 to play in the second. Sartsidze in the paint, stripped and into the hands of Blue. Allen knocked it away. Now Dobbs has it left in the lane to the Ram. He scores! That was probably the most difficult layup of all of them. And the Tommies get it to fall. And they have a little six, uh, five nothing run here to start this second half. Two and a half minutes gone in it. Still down by six. Kulovic at the head of the key, hands off. Iannaccio on the left side, straightens up out front. Crosses over, drives left in the lane, spins to the right, kicks it, starts CJ, right corner. Now Iannaccio takes it right wing. He's got seven to shoot. Goes to the CJ, head of the key. The three on the way, side iron no good. Rebound, Dobbs. And the Tommies with another chance to cut into the six-point deficit. Anthony, full steam ahead, gets underneath. Pump fake, stripped on the way up. And the rebound pulled down by Omont. Another opportunity at the rim that the Tommies don't convert on. 
Omot driving down the lane, reverse layup scores. Uh, you can't give them that many opportunities and not make them pay. Anthony driving left in the lane. That layup rolls out. And the rebound comes to North Dakota. Tommy's down by eight. And Iannaccio step back three. That's no good. Rebound to Dobbs. 16-33 to play in the second. Tommy's haven't had a bad look yet. But in this second half, they are just two of six. Down by eight. Allen between the circles to Anthony on the left wing. Left elbow for Bjorklund, driving, bodied up by Iannaccio, bounce it to Anthony, left wing, 10 to shoot. He gets underneath, push bump behind by Sartidze, no whistle, basketball loose into the hands of Omot. Omot steps through, he hangs in the air, he missed the layup with a lot of contact, and it goes out of play, last touch by St. Thomas. Boy, they're not going to call anything right now, it feels like. Tommy's trailing 40 to 32. With 16.05 to play in the second half, a good start for the Tommies in terms of getting looks and stops, but just not scoring. Lou and Allen take a rest. Lee, Anthony, Bjorklund, Dobbs, and Ben now on the floor. It's Eagle Staff, King, Kalujovic, Omot, and Danielson for North Dakota. Toss it into Kalujovic. Omot takes it at the head of the key. Back to the left corner, Danielson's open for three. Oh, that goes in and out, and rebound pulled down by the Tommies. Tommies dodge a bullet. Anthony, right of the lane, picked up the dribble. Finds Dobbs between the circles. Back to Anthony, right sideline. Anthony gets it to Bjorklund at the head of the key, to Anthony, right wing, to Lee, working against Omot. 12 on the shot clock. Lee puts it on the floor. Poked away from behind by Omot into the hands of Danielson. His pass tipped by Anthony. Anthony attacks. Anthony goes to the rim, lays it up. No good, but he was fouled by Danielson. Danielson tried to draw the charge, but he was inside the charge circle. And the Tommies will have free throws when we come back. 40 to 32. Tommies trailing with 15-32 to play in the second. This is Tommy Basketball. You own the groove. But have you ever thought, who owns your money? At Wings Credit Union, you own it. Unlike banks where you're a customer, here you're an owner. So profits help you and the community around you. That means things like high yield checking accounts, savings accounts, and certificates. It's time to own your money. City's Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. Raheem Anthony will be at the line trying to improve on his 12-point scoring so far and dig into an eight-point deficit as the Tommy's trail 40 to 32 with 15-32 to play in the second half. You can bring out a group to a Tommy game and get discounted tickets plus other great experiences like giving high fives to the team as they come out of the tunnel, et cetera, et cetera. Visit TommySports.com for more information. Tommy's open up the second half with a ton of great looks, a lot of opportunities, but they go just two of seven so far. Holding North Dakota to one of seven. You just hope if you're the Tommies that that wasn't the one dry spell for North Dakota. You wanted North Dakota to go one for seven while you got hot. And the Tommies had a chance at a five point swing to open up out of the locker room after a three by Allen was good and a foul was called. But the Tommies then missed a layup. And that has kind of been the story of the day. Anthony at the line shooting two after the Danielson foul and the first free throw is good for Anthony. He's got 13. Anthony will have one more. And he hits it. 
14 for Anthony. Tommy's down by six, 15 and a half to play in this second half. North Dakota one for seven to start this second half from the floor. Omont has it left sideline. Lee keeps an eye on him. Omont uses the left-handed dribble. Goes out front for King. Looking right, nothing there. To Eagle Staff on the left side. Nine to shoot. Eagle Staff double team briefly. Goes to King on the right wing. Five to shoot. King puts it on the floor. Rises from the free throw line and scores. Nine for Eli King. 42-34. Tommy's trailing. Dobbs walks it into the front court right. Bjorkland takes it ahead of the key. Drifting to the left side. Let's Anthony go by. Bjorkland with the dribble outside the paint now. Spinning towards the basket. Banks it high off the glass for two. They're going to let him bang underneath. Tommy's cut the deficit again to six with 14.30 to play in the second half. Omont on the left sideline. They move it around to the right side for King. Boy, this crowd just a little hush, just waiting for the Tommies to get going. Omont working at left baseline. Good crossover move. Goes reverse and gets the layup. Jay Omont's pretty good. He's got 13. 44-36. Tommy's trailing. Anthony trying to answer back. Good for two and a chance for three. Crossed him over in the paint, drove to the rim, and laid it in. Brady Danielson just picked up his fourth personal foul. And the Tommies would be happy to see him off the floor. He is a pest when defensively. That will be the fourth team foul as well, and Anthony at the line. Grad students, left-handed free throws on the way, and it is good. He is 4-4 from the charity stripe. He's got 17. And Tommy's chipping away. They've cut it to five. About six minutes gone here in the second half. King will take, or excuse me, uh, Danielson out. Eagle Staff has come in for the Fighting Hawks. Inacho has it on the left wing. Out front for Omar. Hands off King, right wing, thought about the deep three and said drives against Lee, gets underneath, off balance, there is no good. That foul going against Lee. His first, team's first. North Dakota, as they showed against Denver also, good at really spacing the floor, clearing things out and letting their ball handlers drive to the hoop. And King's first free throw is good. King is 66% free throw shooter. Puts the North Dakota lead at six. And he hits them both. 46-39 North Dakota, 13-38 to play in the second half. Anthony has it left wing for Lee, head of the key, back to Anthony out front. To Ben now, angle right, three on the way, back iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by King. Tommy's would love to get Ben now going. He's been struggling from behind the arc. Two of 13 now in the last four plus games. Sarcides a low post right against Bjorklund. Kicks it to King. He's open for three. Missed it. Rebound. Goes to King. King in the paint. Floats it up. No good. Rebound. Sarcides a out. Battles lead for it. Shuffles off King. He lays it up. Good. And he's fouled. Second effort. Third effort. Fourth effort finally got it done for North Dakota. Johnny Lee picks up his second, team second. And King misses the free throw, so he's stuck at 13. Tommy's deficit back down to nine, back up to nine, I should say, with 12.53 to play in the second half. Tommy's are going to have to show some of that composure now. Johnny Lee out there on the floor with Dufault, Bjorklund, Ben Now, and Anthony. Dufault right wing, lobs it underneath Bjorklund. Bjorklund had a brief look at the basket, covered up by Sartize. Double team by Ian Acho goes out of play. Last touch by Ian Acho. 
Tommies will have 4.6 seconds to shoot it. Bjorkman will take a seat. Carter Bjorki checks in. Tommy's cut it to five at one point, but they haven't been able to string enough stops together with some makes. Inbounds to fault from their free throw line. The jumper is around and out, no good. Rebound to Ian Acho. 48-39, North Dakota. Over to Omont on the right corner. Tommy's trail by nine at their by 11 at the half, and Omont just goes right down the baseline and lays it up and in. This is why the Tommies needed to get hot sooner. Jail 50 to 39. They had a great start to the second half. A lot of good looks, but they couldn't hit them. And now the Tommies are back down by 11 after North Dakota finally heats up. And Ben now trying to get around the Eagle Staff defense. Eagle Staff picks up the foul. That's his fourth. So 12-03 to play in the second half. And for the first time tonight, Elijah Brooks will check in with both Danielson and Eaglestaff having four personal fouls. And now takes a seat, Kendall Blue back in. Tommy's have 20 to shoot. Dufault takes it on the inbound, driving left in the lane, goes behind the back, lost the basketball, picks it up. They move it to Anthony on the right wing. 12 to shoot, Anthony will rise for three. NBA range, got it! 20 points for Raheem Anthony. Who's gonna come along and help him out? Tommy's down by eight, 11.40 to play. Brooks on the outside left, takes it to the wing. Blue keeps an eye on him. Goes to Ianacho between the circles. Takes a screen from Sartsidze, driving, kicking underneath, and Omot tracked it down on the right sideline. He's got five. Omot with three. It's around the pressure, throws it up at the elbow, just barely ticked the glass in the rim, but the Tommies get the rebound. Dufault down the middle of the paint, trying to get to the rim. He does, and he scores. Don't turn your back on Ryan Dufault. Tommy's cut it to six. 11.04 to play. See if the Tommy's can get a stop here. Start seeds in. Right elbow extended. Working into the paint against Bjorki. Burrowing in, burrowing in. Trying to step to the left, steps to the right. Prayer is up, no good. Rebound pulled down by Anthony. Anthony into the front court. Anthony steps through, out of control, and a whistle foul, bailing him out. And the Tommies will have it when we come back. Timeout on the floor after the foul by Tyree Ianacho, his first, team sixth. And the Tommies have got an 11-point deficit at the half, down to six. 10.44 to play in the second. This is Tommy Basketball. The highlights hit new levels. The first Division I ranked win in program history. Faye Thomas wins in the shootout. The longest unbeaten streak of the Division I era. An unprecedented win streak. Legendary battles against the best conference in hockey. How did they score? Year two was a whirlwind. Year three, the Tommies take flight. See Joel Johnson and Tommy women's hockey all year long. Visit TommySports.com today. Tommy's trailing 50 to 44, 10 44 to play in the second half. St. Thomas with five turnovers in the first half. They've only turned it over twice in this second half. And they haven't gone over 10 turnovers in the last seven games. So to see them with five in the first half was a little bit surprising. They've taken better care of the basketball and they've got themselves back into this game. Tommy women return to Shinnaker Arena February 1st when they welcome Omaha to campus. Get your tickets at TommySports.com. Believe it or not, but this is the final Tommy Athletic event for the month of January. Next one will be on February 1st. Tommy's down by six. 
Anthony inbounds from the right baseline to Bjorki to Dufault out front. Lee and Blue also on the floor. Dufault right in the lane. Picked up the dribble. Needs some help. Finds it in Anthony. Guarded by Omont with 17 on the shot clock. Gets a screen. Cuts into the paint. Now reverses dribble. Brings it out to the head of the key. He's got 10 on the shot clock. Anthony goes to the left corner for Bjorki. Fakes the three to Anthony on the left wing with six. Anthony fires the NBA three. Got it again! Raheem Anthony's on fire tonight. 23! And the Tommy's deficit is three. 10-10 to play in the second. Matches a season high for Raheem Anthony. Ianacho. Double team near the sideline, goes out front for Kulovic. Hands up, Sartsidze. 10 on the shot clock for King on the right wing. Goes out front for Sartsidze. Seven to shoot. Starts right, comes back left. Four to shoot to Ianacho, head of the key. Burrowing in, getting to the rim. Blocked by Lee and pulled in by Bjorki. Big block there by Lee. Anthony driving to the rim. Missed the layup in the rebound. Foul going against Anthony as he got the face of Kulovic. Anthony picked up his first, team's third. I'm not sure what the North Dakota bench wants, but Coach Sather is livid, and he's really letting one of the officials have it. And the Tommy crowd wanting them to give, give him a T. And Coach Sather saying maybe it was an intentional foul, I'm not sure. 50 to 47, Tommy's down, nine and a half to play in the second. Tommy Crowd trying to talk a little defense here. Leonardo at the top of the shield, halfway through the shot clock. Gets a screen to the angle right, pass out front for Sartsidze. Tommy's went for the steal, didn't get it. Omont left corner three, no good, rebound. Kalulovic and Blue tie each other up, jump basketball call. Possession arrow, North Dakota. Well, Tommy's a fingernail away from the breakaway, but then also dodged to bullet as Omont had a wide open three. Ianacho inbounds with 20 on the shot clock from the right baseline. Sartsidze from the right wing to Ianacho there. Ianacho with the dribble on the right side, comes around the head of the key. Now drives right in the lane, bodied by Dufault, and a whistle foul. Foul is called on the floor. Dufault picking up his third. Another 20 now for North Dakota on the shot clock. Sartsidze will take a seat. Brady Danielson checks him, playing with four personal fouls. Kalulovic has it on the free throw line, hands off. Ianacho left in the lane to Danielson, left corner three. That's good. Brady Danielson has hit two daggers from the left corner. Tommy's down by six with 8.52 to play in the second half. Right corner Lee for blue right side line. Takes it to the head of the key for Lee on the right wing. Lee wants somewhere to go with it. Gets it to Bjorki. Right baseline. Bjorki double team. Dribbles out of it. He's got nine to shoot. Pass out front stolen by King. And King will walk it in and slam it down. New career high for Eli King in his return to his home state. The Caledonia natives got 15. And the Tommy's back down by eight on a 5 nothing spurt by North Dakota. Anthony spins in the lane, hangs in the air, and scores. Anthony with 25. Tommy's trail by six. And Tommy's getting anybody else going as well. Danielson with the ball goes to Oman on the right side. He drives against Anthony, spins back into the paint, kicks it to Inacho, ball tipped and stolen by Dufault. Outlet ahead to Lee, two on two. Lee to the rim with the right hand block, but there's Blue to pick it up. He's stripped on the way up, and he'll go to the line. How about the block there by P.J. Omont? And the Tommies will have the basketball, maybe some free throws when we come back. 7.47 to play in the second half. North Dakota holding on to a two-possession lead, 55-49. This is Tommy Basketball. The best health care is there in ways big and small. There when we most and least expect it. We may not see it, but we feel it. It lets us know we're not in this alone. 
Everyone deserves a healthcare partner who never quits. One who's there for what matters. United Healthcare, there for what matters. It's a program on the rise, and you can be front and center for Tommy women's basketball all year long. A six-win improvement. Five wins in their final seven. A bright future ahead as the Tommies bring the power of purple to their third year of Division I play. Yeah, let's go home. Seneca Arena is the site. Come see Ruth Sin and the Tommies fight for the summit. Visit Tommysports.com today. Tommy's trailing by the score of 55 to 49, 7.47 to play in the second half. Founded in St. Paul in 1938, Wings Credit Union has been proudly serving our members for over 80 years. Join today to get your own Tommy Visa debit card insured by NCUA. Tommy's trailed by 11 at the half. I've got it as close as three in the second half. But they just haven't been able to get it all the way back. Dufault with the steal. And then as Johnny Lee went to try and dunk it down, he was blocked by B.J. Oman. And then Kendall Blue was hammered by Eli King. And Blue will be at the line to shoot a couple of free throws. It's a second foul against King, seventh team foul. So the Tommies will have free throws for the final plane trip of the second half, 7.47 remaining in this second. You see what I did there. Kendall Blue looking for his first points of the second half. And the first free throw is no good. Blue is the second leading scorer for the Tommies with seven. Raheem Anthony leading the way with 25. Blue knocks that one down. He's got eight. 55-50, Tommy's trailing, picking up some full court pressure here. 7.45 to play. Eli King has it into the front court for North Dakota. Ian Ancho takes it, standing near the shield at half court. Moves it around to King again on the left wing. Danielson now takes it between the circles to Ian Ancho, angle right, driving right down the middle, kicks it left corner, Omot for three. Good. That left corner has been so deadly for North Dakota. They've had that shot all night long. Tommy's back down by eight, 7.15 to play in the second half. Anthony right wing driving into the paint, pump fake, double team, ball stolen. And King comes away with it. Omot, one on two, Omot steps through, poked away by Allen, there's Kaluovich with the follow, and he gets it to go. Just like that, the Tommy's down by 10. Anthony, left in the lane, to Allen, left wing. He penetrates, spins away from the pressure, gets rid of it, goes to Anthony between the circles. 6.45 to play in this one. The Tommies have another push, down by double figures. Allen to Anthony, cutting into the paint, bodied up, lays it up, no good, he'll go to the line. Raheem Anthony is really the only offense going right now for the Tommies. He is 9 of 14 from the floor. The rest of the team, 10 of 30. Foul goes against Dianacho. That's his second. This is a two-shot foul for Anthony. Takes a deep breath, and the first free throw's on the way, and he got the roll. Lee takes the seat, Bjorklund comes in. It's Dobbs, Dufault, Bjorklund, Allen, and Anthony. Omot, Kaluovic, Iannaccio, King, and Danielson for the Kelly, Green, and White. Anthony's second free throw is good. Grim and crew. Net never even moved. Full court pressure again for the Tommies. They're gonna sag off as Ianacho gets it in and takes it back. Eight point deficit for the purple and gray. Omad attacking the right side, spins away from default into the paint, makes it up, can't get the roll, gets the rebound, puts it up, scores, and he's gone. Zombies have no room for error. And 
Brooks Allen picks up his first, team's fifth. Omot has 20 points tonight. Fourth straight game where he's reached the 20 point plateau. Hasn't always been a plateau. He's been able to keep on building on it. Missed that free throw, long rebound, tipped in, controlled by Kulovic. New life for the Fighting Hawks, leading by 10. 6-12 to play in this one. North Dakota trying to avenge a beat down in Grand Forks, and they're on their way. King burrows into the paint, lays it up and in. Eli King continues his career night. He's got 17, and the Tommies trail by 12, their large deficit of the night. Under six to play in this second half. It's been Raheem Anthony, and that's it. Yorkland from the right corner. Attacking, brings it to the elbow. Steps through, puts it up with the left, and scores. Just four points tonight for Parker Bjorklund. Now the Tommies have very little room for error. They need to make stops. 64-54 they trail, five and a half to play in the second. Kulovic walks it over to Ianacho on the left wing. Back to Kulovic, a low post left. Puts it on the floor against Bjorklund. Drops it to the baseline, spins back towards the paint, stolen by Anthony. Tiptoes down the sideline, Anthony crosses over to the rim. Missing the layup, but he'll go to the line. He gets going so hard, it's hard for him to control it at the rim. The foul goes against Ianacho, his third, team's ninth. The big night continues for Raheem Anthony. He's got 27. He's got half of the Tommy points. And he is the only Tommy in double figures. Couple of dribbles for Raheem. And the free throw is up and good. Kendall Blue checks in, Brooks Allen out. Kulovic and King will take a seat. Eagle Staff and Sarcidze in for North Dakota. Anthony has one more. Trying to get this down to eight. Tommies have been as close as three in this second half after trailing by 11. Going into the locker room, and Anthony hits there. He's got 29. North Dakota, 5-10 to play, leading 64-56. Start CJ finds Ianacho in the backcourt. Gets it across the timeline with the second to spare. Ianacho drifting to the right. Dobbs fights through the screen for Omont between the circles, left side, Eagle Staff. Started by Blue, 10 on the shot clock. Eagle Staff dumps it to Sartsidze. Cross court pass to Danielson, was standing on the sideline, and the Tommies forced the turnover. Tommies have to take advantage of these. 4.47 to play, down by nine. St. Thomas trying to survive. On a night where they're just 4-14 from behind the arc. Anthony, right down the paint, goes to the right corner, Dobbs, open three try. Well off the mark, rebound tipped out, and a foul going against Bjorklund. That's his second, team sixth. Tommy's would have had it. So instead, of cutting the deficit down. The Tommies are gonna have to play defense here down by nine. Tommies have flirted with the top of the hill and getting all the way over the top, but they just have not been able to do so. Omot, head of the key, spins away from Dufault. Now goes to Ianacho on the outside left. Dakota looking to lead down this clock a little bit. Ianacho right in the lane, skip it to King, left wing. He drives baseline, kicks it to the right corner. Ianacho for three, that's good. And again, the corner three kills the Tommies. Ianacho with nine. Tommies back down by 11 with four minutes to play. The time is now. Anthony to the left elbow, out front for Bjorklund. 
to Anthony, left wing. Skip it to Dom's right wing, to Anthony. 14 to shoot, left wing three on the way. Short rebound, pulled down by Eli King. Not sure how much deeper this hole can get for the Tommies and still have a chance to get out of it. 3.33 to play in the ball game, trailing 67-56. Eagle staff back out front, Sarcite to King, left wing all by info for three, missed it. The Tommies catch a break. King could have put the nail in the coffin. He had the hammer in his hands and just miss it. We have a timeout on the floor. North Dakota 67, St. Thomas 56. 324 to play. This is Tommy Basketball. We're growing. We're building. We're ready. Forehand ties the hockey game. Is out front to Piansky and a shot and a goal. We've got Leyland left side, a screen, a score. Leyland. Tickets on sale now. Visit TommySports.com. At Supply Chain Solutions, our employees are our true value. In the heart of the ever-changing supply chain industry, we know it's our team that propels us forward. As a proud partner of Tommy Athletics, we're excited to welcome St. Thomas students into our family. At Supply Chain Solutions, we're more than colleagues. Working together and celebrating together is our recipe for excellence. Join our team and discover a rewarding journey together. St. Thomas trailing 67-56 tonight. With 3.24 to play in the second half, E.J. Omont with his fourth consecutive 20-point game or higher. And the Tommies have a ways to go. Bert Hedstrom, the former Tommy, taking things in from the crowd. Now we're looking on his face. Twin Cities Orthopedics is proud to be the official sports medicine provider for Tommy Athletics. TCO is trusted by some of the biggest names in sports. They bring that same level of care to our athletes. Thank you, TCO, for being a part of our team. Visit TCOMN.com to learn more. Dobbs, Anthony, Ben Now, Parker Bjorklund, and Kendall Blue on the floor for the Tommies. They'll roll it in. Anthony will pick it up near half court, and the clock will start. Omot, Iannaccio, Danielson, Kalujovic, and King playing defense. Dobbs between the circles. Goes to the right side for now. Bounces it for Bjorklund inside the arc, right of the lane. Going against Omot. Burrow is in. Pump fake. Pump fake. Puts it up with the left. Can't get the roll. Rebound. Anthony keeps it alive. Finds Ben now out front to Anthony right way. New shot clock for the Tommies. Anthony driving with the left hand to the rim. Reverse. Lays it up and in. Anthony continues with the new season high. He's got 31 tonight. And the inbound's almost stolen by Bjorkland, and it's tipped instead to Iannaccio. They go to Omot. Omot tied up by now. Lost the basketball. And a foul going against Ben Now. A late whistle. Late whistle. That's the fourth against Ben. And the seventh team foul, so a one and one now. The whistle came so late, I thought it was going to be to determine where the ball went after it went out of bounds. Omot front end of the one and one. Good. Well, the Tommies have tried and tried and tried, and North Dakota has just kept them at an arm's length. Tommies cut it to three in the second half, but that's as close as they've been able to get. Another one for Omont. Hits them both. Sixty-nine, fifty-eight, North Dakota. Two forty-two to play. Tommies have no room for error now. Anthony across the head of the key, takes it to the left elbow, brings it out, goes to Dobbs between the rings. Dobbs attacking right in the lane, gets underneath, nothing there. Goes to Bjorkman right wing, jab step, jab step. 
Kicks it to Anthony, left wing. 14 to shoot, out front for Bjorklund. Drives left to the lane, spins away from the pressure to Anthony out front. He drives, pump fake, lost the basketball. Gets it back, but it's stripped by Omot. And he gets it to Ian Acho, and the Tommies come up empty with 2.14 to play in the contest, down by 11. North Dakota with a chance to put the nail in here. North Dakota trying to avenge a 70 to 45 loss. They have come out and played well from the jump. The Tommies just never have taken advantage of any of North Dakota's lulls as Ian Acho buries the left wing three. And with that, maybe the Tommies as well. 72 58. Dobbs cut off underneath. He is fouled by Ian Acho who picks up his fourth. And now the Tommies will go to the line with the chance to score with the clock stopped. Men's hockey returns home February 2nd to take on Minnesota State Mankato. Get your tickets at TommySports.com. Great Dobbs, it's his first free throw. He'll have one more. Eagle Staff in for Danielson will take a seat. Ryan Dufault will check in for Parker Bjorklund. A little defensive switch here. Dobbs has one more. And that one goes. He's got four. Blue out to Johnny Lee in. Tommies are going to come out with some length. Let's see if they start fouling with 1.41 to play. Four possession ball game. Ian Acho trying to inbound. Looking, gets it into Eagle Staff. Back to Ian Acho. Foot race now into the front court. Tried to get it ahead to Omot. There's Dufault with the steal. Omot reaching back. Ties him up and they call a jump basketball. Omot was laying prone on the ground. Reached out with that long arm and he was able to tie up Ryan Dufault. Jump basketball, possession arrow, St. Thomas. That's the way it has gone tonight, though. Just when it looks like the Tommies will get a break, North Dakota disrupts it. Either way, though, the Tommies do get a stop, and now they have a chance to score. 136 to play. 72-60, they trail. Dobbs trying to go coast to coast, leaves it for Lee, and he's fouled on the way up. He's fouled by Eli King. And now Lee will go to the free throw line. King picking up his third, 10th team. Okay. Another opportunity for St. Thomas to score with the shot clock off. The game clock not running. And the first free throw from Lee is short. Welcome to the Summit League. Any given night. Lee's second free throw, good. He goes one out of two. Tommy's cut it to 11, 91 seconds left. Inacho gets it into King. King creeping the dribble into the front court. And nobody stopped him, he gets to the basket, missed it, and there's Sarcite to clean it up. A crazy shot from King, but there were no Tommies there to clean it up, and Tartizze gets the put back and a 13-point lead. Dobbs burrows in underneath, pump fake, kicks it to the left corner for Dufault. His three is no good. Rebound tipped out, picked up by Eagle Step. And the Tommies are not going to foul here. And North Dakota is going to pick up the 74-61 victory. We'll see what the final margin is, but... With 53 seconds to play, the Tommy's not going to foul. North Dakota comes to St. Paul and gets their first win in the Summit League against the Tommies in St. Paul. Ianacho with six, working against Ben now. Goes to the left side for Eagle Staff, fires the wing three. It's short, rebound picked up by Dufault. Final 33 seconds. Tommy's down by 13. Dufault kicks it to Anthony. Anthony drives. And he's bodied on the way in by Eagle Staff, who gets called for the foul. Eagle Staff is fouled out. And the Tommies could have done defensively against everybody else what they did against Eagle Staff tonight. 
He's going to finish with just three points, averaging 14.2. But Eli King, the Caledonia native, with the career high 17. Ianacho with 12. And EJ Oma, the Mankato native, with 22. All overshadowing Raheem Anthony's season high 31 points. He had a career high 41 last season. His final with St. Mary's at the Division III level. Responsible for more than half of the Tommy's points tonight. And the first free throw is no good. Reminder to get your inside look at the personalities that wear their purple and gray with the Tommy Talks podcast. New episodes released each Tuesday, available wherever you get your podcasts. One more for Anthony. And it's good. 32 for Anthony, matching Parker Bjorklund's Division I record for the Tommies. Inbounds, tipped and stolen. Dufault into the front court, lays it up, and good. And it cuts it to 10. 74-64, 24.3 seconds to play. Zartzidze's pass is tipped, and it goes out of play. Last touch by Dufault. Danielson will inbound it. 20 seconds to play. Tommies are not going to foul, so North Dakota can just dribble this one out. And the Tommies are going to have some time off before they hit the road for Omaha and Kansas City. That'll be a tough road trip. And North Dakota comes to St. Paul, and they get their fourth consecutive win overall, their first against the Tommies in the Twin Cities. North Dakota dominated this one, leading by 11 at the half. Tommy's put a scare onto him to start the second half. But North Dakota came up with the plays they needed throughout the evening, whether it was from behind the arc, underneath the basket, whatever it was, they got the plays. And it was too much for the Tommies to overcome, despite a season high 32 points from Raheem Anthony. Tying Parker Bjorklund's 32-point effort on Thursday for the most by Atami in the Division I era. But North Dakota with too many breakaways. Eli King, the Caledonia native, with 17 points, a career high for him. E.J. Omont with 22. Tyree Iannaccio from Pioneer Lake had 12. And North Dakota comes to St. Paul, picks up their fourth straight win. They improved a 4-3 and three in conference play, and St. Thomas falls. Two, four, and three. Your final tonight at Shenandoah Arena, 74 to 64. In favor of North Dakota, this is Tommy Basketball. At the University of